Hello again, everybody. You are looking at the Chris Master General over there on the, uh, uh, I was going to say, well, it's my left, but you're right. Uh, uh, Greg, who's 80, and he's going to do the, uh, the New York Times quiz for us. So thank you for tuning in to the 86 year rule. Back to you, Greg. Hello, everybody. This is Greg, and I'm, uh, thank you, Mark, for saying that. But I'm 81. Oh, well, that's uh, right. And, um, this has uh, been in the paper for this week, and let's see what we know. I was terrible this week. Bad, really bad. Oh, you were? Okay. All right. All right. One, I just well, I just missed it. Um, a federal grand jury indicted former President Trump this week on four counts related to the efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. Which one was not charged with? A, conspiring to defraud the government. B, conspiring to violate Americans' right to vote. <laughs> see, well, I should respond to this fucking official proceeding of Congress for inciting the supporters to attack the U.S. Capitol. Five, obstructing an official proceeding of Congress. Four. What, inciting the supporters to attack the Congress? He was yeah. not charged with that. Yeah, you're right. Right, yeah, which I thought was brilliant. They charged him on the... Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, I thought that was... Uh, all right, according provable. to... The- which it's tells me that they've got some sort of tapes. They've got some sort of correspondence, but exactly. Um, who, uh, who, who said that uh, you're too? Who did Trump say you're too honest to? You know, uh, Mike Pence. Right. Okay. Uh, the first New York Times college poll over the Republican presidential primary released this week. So, Mister Trump the lead with fifty-four percent. What did Governor DeSantis get? Three, seventeen, thirty, or forty? Uh, 17. You're right. Um, now, newer U.S. energy rules have effectively outlawed sales of what common type of light bulb? Chandelier, fluorescent, incandescent, LED, or sound activated? I think it's incandescent. Yeah, I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah, you're right. Well, just, yeah, okay. No, I have no clue what different things like that. If it's right. not in my area, Mark, I don't. I'm, 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 I am amazed at the. Seriously, now I'm amazed at the wealth of your knowledge. Well, Thomas Edison invented the incandescent light bulb. Okay. Well, but it's not, not as uh, uh, energy efficient as like LED and all those. So they're going all over to those. Yeah, Bobby, you, you know all this stuff. To me, it's like if it's not political, if it's not sports, for my field. Right. Right. You if know, Thomas Edison were the third round draft pick of the Philadelphia Eagles, you would remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say, do, do we move them? You know? Right. Look, what can we get for them? That's, a, that's <laughs> exactly right. Hmm. Okay. Which ocean temperatures reaching record highs around Florida? What have dive, divers been doing to rescue coral, coral? Coating it with a specialized type of sunscreen? cutting it loose and sending it adrift into the deep sea, dropping blocks of ice to, to cool the water around it, and strolling undersea shades to protect it from UV rays, moving it out of the sea and into tanks on land. I'm going to say the last one there. You're right. Taking little parts so they can keep it alive and then get it back in there, right? Yeah. Well, that's what, that's, that's what it is. It is. I know. Yeah. He's not a third round draft choice, right? Yeah, you know? see to me, you got to go after that third round draft choice, right? He's smart. That's what right. you get, right? Paul Rubens, Rubens died this week at 70. What character is he most famous for creating? Uh, hint he once married a fruit salad, Derek Zoolander, Dr. Evil, Jeff the Dude Lebowski, Pee Wee Herman. SpongeBob Square Pants. Pee Wee Herman. Right. And you got to, okay, this is Did You Know, gang. Okay. Or right, Did You Know? According to the Association for Advancing Automation, robot orders in North America jumped 42% during the pandemic. Yes, they're supposed to be in flat over the previous five years. Robot orders? Yes. All right. Okay. More than 60% of Americans, according to polling within the past several years, still declined to believe that Lee Harvey Osborne acted alone. Oswald. 
Oswald, yeah. Oz, Ozzy Osbourne, Lee yeah. Harvey Oswald. See, that's not, that's yeah. scary. I always get, I always feel a little funny when people don't know history. Oh, acted alone. They weren't saying he he didn't do it. They were saying, did he act alone? Okay, okay, all right. This is what gets me because, you know, even that, I can't believe you mean to tell me everyone in the government the last 60 years right. has kept the mouth shut? Right. Yeah. Not possible. All right. right. The Dave Matthews Band, which was established in Charlottesville in 1991, is the second largest ticket seller in the world, according to the trade publication Polestar, which struck the top touring artist of the last 40 years. Dave Matthews. I remember that band. I don't, can't tell you much about it. The last 40 years. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is something. The average American eats 20 pounds of ice cream a year, which works out to more than 10 scoops a month. <laughs> I'm probably less than that. Uh, if you count popsicles, I might be in there, but oh, you yeah. eat ice cream? I've, I've been eating ice cream. I love this ice cream at the Trader Joe's premium vanilla ice cream. It's really Ooh. good. It's really good. Oh, Sounds man. good. You can't stop. Two Taylor Swift concerts in in Seattle shook the ground so much, so hard that they registered signals on a nearby seismometer, roughly equivalent to a magnitude of 2.3 earthquake. Wow, they better be careful. She's shaking loose the San Andreas fault over there. Okay, between 2011 and 2019, cases of tick borne diseases rose by 25%. And large part because of the expanding tick territories due to migrating deer and mice populations. And TikTok. And TikTok, right? Right. Right. All right. Um, in a survey of 2,000 U.S. college center workers, nearly two thirds said they thought it was somewhat very, or very likely, likely that the increased use of bots would lead to layoffs within the next two years. I had to look up what bots means and I still forgot and I forgot it anyway. They're talking about robots? B-O-T-S. Yeah, read it. So bots could have a couple of meanings. Bots are just fake people on the internet. I think that's what it is. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, in Mexico here, uh, Mexico is the second biggest receiver of remittance behind India. In 2022, those working abroad, primarily in the U.S., sent more than $61 billion to Mexico. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, in New York. Now, let me ask you about this. When, it, when, because you're, um, your ancestors, right? You've said are from uh, Europe, from Greece. When, you know, back at the turn of the century, the, you know, the, the, um, you know, the 1900s, um, did they send money back home? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we, the, the big issue, we, we, they never knew, my parents never knew if they would get it. Right. Where somebody would take it. Yeah. And right. That's, I'll never forget that. Interesting. Okay. See, so the same thing. You're kinda... always, always upset with that. You always like, you remember something like as a little kid. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, this is, this is a tr bad. New York's declines in fourth grade reading scores were double the national average last year on major national tests. They've been tied in the 32 places with five other states. All right, 1935, Mark, the newly created FH Federal Housing Administration issued a manual, a manual for lenders endorsing redlining and warning that black families should not be approved for mortgages in white areas. Mm. 1935. Mm -hmm. Terrible, but say we've gone a long way since then. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, and since. So this is great in the industry that I know. Since June 2020, since June 2020, outdoor dining in New York City has served to include more than 12,000 restaurants and bars. Yeah, okay. yeah. Born born out of the pandemic, and then people figured out how to how to like uh, have it be a uh, an attraction or a money maker. Hopefully, knock on wood. A proposal from China's internet regulator will try to prevent internet addiction by limiting children younger than eight to 40 minutes of smartphone time with a smartphone, a smartphone time a day. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you know what? That when when you mentioned the reading scores for fourth graders in New, in New York, uh, right away I kind of thought, you know, everybody's on their phone. There's got to be some uh, uh, entrepreneurs out there, and it might even already already exist, where you you create an app to teach people how to read because they're already on their phone anyway. Yeah, I'm talking about kids and teenagers. Go on Shark Tank with that. Yeah. Yeah, right. It'd be a, it'd be a, it probably already exists, but something that can be um, fun, but also uh, educational, where you're actually learning how to read, maybe doing it out right. loud or something. I don't know. Okay, the last one here: the ocean has absorbed more than ninety percent of the heat unleashed by the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and other human activity. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Now, do you get what that means? Because uh, I'm not sure I do. I said it's interesting because it sounded interesting, but I don't know if I get it. But you're going to explain it to me. That's why. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I I guess I get it. It's like you know, we heat up the earth, and then if, and then and then which in turn heats up the ocean. So yeah. All right. And uh, the last thing, Mark, I'd like to say. Um, um, I thought he was a very scary guy when I would watch him, and I thought he was always did it. Tremendous acting in that way. Mark Margolis, I never knew his name. He was 83. He said, actor and scene stealer for Breaking Bad. Remember Hector Salamanca? So the he actor passed Salamanca. away. The actor's name was Mark Margolis? Mark Margolis. Oh, okay, and he passed Salamanca. away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. terrific actor. And uh, he did, it said the article says, he didn't need dialogue to wield fearsome power. Oh, interesting. That great, huh? Yeah, that's a good actor then. Yeah. Right? Huh? He doesn't need dialogue. Yeah. 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 All right. Is the that way it? You look, you look, right? It's just the way you look, right? Right, right. The way you look and the, and the way you carry yourself. Uh, um, yeah, lines or no lines. Uh, all right. That's good stuff, Greg. All right. Thank you, Mark. Did you know? All right. Thank you. And thank, thank you, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. Talk to you next week.